the network has always been as a service. If you look at um, all the service providers that are in the room today, and particularly part of MET, um, they've been offering network as a service services for quite some time. Heck, even security has become as a service as well now. So the next view of NAS, where is it headed? Well, it's really about automating things within the ecosystem of IT and enterprises, all the way through service providers, all the way down to the technology piece. Because NAS in the future is really gonna be about, it's not just about connecting a location to another location. It's gonna be about connecting a location to a particular thing. Could be the internet, could be other locations, or could be a data center, could be some SaaS applications. So NAS is really kind of taking a new meaning by itself. Um, and for example, I mean, AI is the biggest hot thing that's going around today. Well, which AI provider are you gonna to go to? What LLMs are you gonna use? What are the other things are you gonna go to? So NAS is gonna expand even in its mechanism or meaning to cover other attributes that perhaps haven't been thought of today. Second thing about NAS, if I'm an enterprise and I'm using multiple networks today at a particular location for resiliency, for performance, or for economics or whatever reasons, I wanna be able to use the best network at that particular time. So even that's really a NAS capability because I wanna be able to then deliver the right performance and SLA for my line of business to be able to go do that. So NAS has a meaning around that too. And those could be different providers that are providing those different types of services, whether it's a satellite, wireless, uh, or even an MPLS or a broadband service all combined together into an abstracted game. So to me, that's really kind of what NAS represents today and also in the future.